Hello everybody, Ford here again, and welcome back to another seven of video. I'm actually keeping up with these. So today, obviously we're gonna we're gonna do the one that I have over by the mountain, and then the one down here. I have decided not to even touch this one. But I hate doing those ones. Uh, cause. We got two objectives as well to do today. One, we found him. <laughs> Hetsu's been found. <laughs> um, so there's only three locations for Hetsu. There's his first one, and then the second one, which is whatever stable you go to next. And the third one is is somewhere in here. So actually, I'm gonna need my phone for this. Because there's no way I figured this out by myself. <laughs> and if I fuck up while looking at a guy, well, you guys can complain. Okay. If it would load. Okay, so I'm at the Woodland Tower. Well, well it's, as you can see, the whole thing is blocked by water. Yes, I can definitely see that. But, I am assuming you go down this way. To get there. What I am assuming. Everyone wants to waste from us take the northeast take the path northeast of the tower and fall on the path until the area gets foggy and you arrive at a large ruined arch. Like I said, I'm looking this up. I looked this up because I was getting confused where the hell he was. And secondly, if it's a specific thing I need to go through, I'm not gonna figure it out by myself. No way in hell am I figuring it out by myself. <laughs> If this is where he is, then good. We can go get some inventory expansion. <whistles> Idiot, you don't have a horse. <laughs> That's a two-handed sword. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake, this guy again. Bitch. Give me your bow. <laughs> Give me your mighty banana. <laughs> Give me your mighty bananas. I was almost thinking, like, should I shoot that? <laughs> okay, so around here. Ooh, the music. Okay, so we arrive at a ru large ruined arch. Yes, that's why I'm at right now. For the next sections, deviating from the path under any circumstances will result in you being transported back to the last checkpoint. In this case, the large arch. I don't care, IGN. Fuck off. Large arch. Note that there is a witch porch here and more further away set up your path. From the first torch. And north, 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 north again, then west, west again, then south, and finally look west to spot two torches in the distance before a large ogre tree with a chest in its mouth. You see, it says go north, north, then west, and west again, then south. Do you really think I'm gonna find this out by myself? <laughs> okay, so 
All the torches, I guess? Okay, from the first torch. So we're at it right now. Go ahead. North. North. Oh, is it going to be just follow the torches? That works, right? Okay. And head this way. Then head this way. Um. Okay, west, west again, then south. Go that way. And finally, look west. We spot two torches in the distance. Okay, so this way was north. I think I see him. Okay, I see him. Okay. From two torches, things get more difficult. There are no more portages to guide you if you go the wrong way, you're becoming enveloped in fog and brought back to the torches. If you are quick to react, you can escape the fog, but it moves extremely fast. Is there a reason a torch is here? <laughs> Find a way to use a torch or any other flame of weapon and light it at the other two torches. Stand still and look at the embers flying off the top of the torch. It will be blowing slightly in the direction you need to go. Keep following the embers and you will eventually find your way to craft forest. Where am I pointing? This way? Where am I going? This way. Going this way. I'm still going this way. I'm still going this way. Okay, I'm going this way. Still going this way? I'm still going this way. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, how would I figure this out by myself? <laughs> okay, you still telling me to go this way? You are. Let me know, little torch, if I need to change direction. Okay, I'm going this way now. Right? Yep. I'm going. I'm going well so far. I'm going. S 
Jesus fucking Christ, the shrine thing he scared the shit out of me. Okay, keep going this way. Okay. And that way. Come on. Are you there? Please tell me I'm there. Wait. I go that way. Oh no. This way. Keep it going this way. Keep it going. Keep it going. I would say I would assume following the the shrine thingy at this point, but to be honest, I keep following the torch. <laughs> Good. Good, am I clear? <laughs> uh rolling time in the direction you need to go, keep on the embers and you'll eventually find your way to the croc forest. Are there hundreds of cards these match out? Okay. I think good. Hey, holy shit, the bunch of them in my game's lagging. <laughs> my game is actually lagging. No! No way! No shot! I didn't even think we'd find the Master Sword here! It didn't say anything about the Master Sword. All I was following where the inventory person was. I didn't realize the master sword was here. <laughs> Do I have an inventory spot open? Fuck this club. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What's going on? What's happening? Link. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you! I'm always waking up. Who is that? Did I doze off again? Who the hell are you? Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. Deku that Tree. is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the chosen knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Breaks it immediately. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, 
I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. Please tell me I'm getting it. If you hope to pull the sword from its resting place, you must use your true strength. Let's see whether, whether or not you currently possess said power. Hero sword. What's the main quest? I'm gonna save just in case something happens. <laughs> oh. The lost woods and deep within the crocs are received the sword that seals the darkness. The weapon said to be capable of striking down the calamity. Though you came to claim the sword, the Deku tree told you the blade would test you. Although you wielded it a hundred years ago, can you pull the sword out in your current state? It takes more than eight hearts to do that. You need your health up a lot to do anything with that. Damn. So to, so to even pull that sword, you need to have a certain amount of hearts. You need to have a certain amount of hearts to pull that. And one, two, eight hearts. Well, eight and a bit hearts are not enough. Good thing I saved. Where the hell is inventory guy? Where would he be? Mr. Hero. <laughs> Complete for trials. What? Huh, you could be. You're Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero is here. The mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you would come, I think. <laughs> Us Kroaks all got together and prepared some trials just for you, Mr. Hero. And you passed the very for very tough trials you prepared. Pulling out the Master Sword would be a piece of cake. Probably. <laughs> Among the trials is an extra tough one designed by me, the Elder Kroak first. So will you test your metal in the Kroak trials? Maybe later. If you do it, I'll tell you all about the time Hetsu fell flat on his face while dancing, even though I promised I wouldn't. You don't seem interested, so I give up. Yeah, speaking of Hetsu- Oh, there he is! It's over there! <laughs> oh my god, the game is wagging over by the sword. Y you look over here, it's perfectly fine. You look over to the sword, it's just like, nah. <laughs> hey! 
It's you, we meet again. What's with the silent suit? Do you want me to remember it? I'm the musician Karak first, Hetsu. I'm impressed you found your way through the lost forest and made here. So you have you brought me in Karak seats? I sure hope so. I'll return you my lots. If you return my last card, see, I'll expand your inventory. Which stash do you want? Let's see weapon. Because my weapons break very fucking easily, and I'm running out of fucking weapons. So, probably weapon stash. Five. Jeez, five. Yes. Let the expansion begin. <laughs> There's a little head suit just does it too. <laughs> How much would it be to expand weapon sash again? Eight. Yes. Um Let's try bow stash. Three. Uh sure. That would give me two, so I don't know what the shield stash one is. I think the bow is... That, yep, the bow is definitely been the least increased. Because of the color of the maracas. It's definitely been the least increased. Now I can hold another bow. Um... Can I do shield stash? Three. No, I, I can't. I can't do it, number one. The minimum seems to be free. So I think Bo would then take five now. Supposedly. But yeah. I did not expect to find the Master Sword. I am just going to say that. I did not expect to find a Master Sword. Alright, let's go find that, uh... This shrine is his marking, so then we can come back here. When we want to. There it is. And we'll do the shrine in tier two. So quite literally, you need a bunch of hearts in order to pull it out. How many do you need? How many do you need? Because clearly eight's not enough. Because clearly, eight is not enough. I moved it a little bit, but eight was not enough. Fateful stars. Oh. Oh, is this another puzzle one? Oh, but probably the answer's on the... Wait, Wait what? Wait, let me read this. Look to the stars for guidance. The constellations are of a key. Look to the stars for guidance. The constellations are of a key. Wait. There's a bunch of constellations here. Hmm. Let me... Oh, this is zooming way too much. Damn, is there a way I can... Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of my phone. Hold on. Out. 
That way I can kind of look at them. Um, is there like process of elimination or something? Do I have to like try a certain thing? Or let me try. I don't have enough balls though. Is this like the... Is this like the other one where I actually have to go outside to try and find it? I'm, I'm gonna try that. Is it, it's like the Twin Memories one where I have to go go to another shrine or is, it, is this a case where I have to go outside? I'm looking this up. <laughs> I, I'm not going to figure this out. I, I'm looking this up. My brain cannot comprehend this. <laughs> All right, what shrine is this? Here, Rick Shrine. Watch, it's going to be something so simple. No shit. <laughs> I know what it is. No danger to this right now. Oh, there was two puzzles anyway. Can I get why? Faithful Star Shine Solution Collection Constellation Puzzle. Yeah, I know where it is. I know where it is. Lies in the number of constellations you count on the wall and then place a ball representing that number in rows and columns on either side. No way I would have figured this out. No way in hell. The trick is. Okay. The trick is solving the puzzles. The key of Rick's shrine lies in the number of constellations you count on the wall. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then, then placing a ball representing the number 
There are rows and columns at either side. If you stand on the center platform, you see several columns to your left, beneath. Where you stand, you'll see two columns. They run from front to back of the room. You see two more columns to your right. Each column has five rows. Each row is associated with a number of lights on the wall. Wait, number of lights. Each column represents a constellation, which you can see at the head. So what is this? Three? And then this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. Now what is this doing? So then if I run over here Uh One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna say that one's in the back. One, two, three, four, five. What? Each column represents a constellation where you can see at the head of each column on the lower wall. Each right represents the number of constellations that appear on the far wall. Oh, is it like the number of times it pops up? So two times. So you appear two times. This one right here. Here's once. Here's once. That one. Because some of them are rotated. That one only appears once. So I'm assuming once is all the way up here. And that one. One. Two, three, four, five times. This one goes all the way at the back. Anything? No. All you have to do is count the number of constellations on the upper wall and place a ball into the container. Do a comp. Okay, so that one. Oh, right. I forgot some things to say when we're rotated. So there's actually three of them. I'm kind of looking at the solution, but I'm trying to understand what I did wrong. And I'm like, oh, because there's three of them because they're rotated. Wait, that's it? Oh, I got the other two right. Nice. Wait, but it says there was two puzzles. Oh, did it mean my two puzzles? Uh, the fucking both sides. Yeah, I probably remember my two puzzles. Uh, any chests anywhere? Hello. You're locked. Oh, that's why there's a second puzzle. Picture with a knight's claymore. I got slots. But do I want too many two handed weapons? How many two handed weapons do I have? One. That's not handed. -hand. Two, three, four. Five. Wait. 
This one's got critical hit on, this one doesn't. So it's not every Guardian Spear. Okay. I just got one that had critical hit on it. <laughs> uh, so... I got one, two, three, four one-handed weapons. I think I can go without that, to be honest. I can come back for it later. If I want to, but I think I can go about that Knight's Claim work because it says what's in it and I'm like, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother Yeah, I decided to look it up because it was already like 10 or 15 minutes And my brain was not processing any of that at all My brain did not process. Hey, you're meant to count them <laughs> Oh shit, I'm meant to count them The one piece of health I was missing. I don't know how I keep losing that piece of health. I don't know how do I keep losing it. Okay. So, what have we done so far? We found the Master Sword, which we can't get to because we don't have enough hearts. But now we can come back here. Because now we got a shrine to get here. And the inventory person will stay here. Why am I saying inventory person? I know the name. Hetsu. Hetsu will stay here now. So. He will stay here. Okay. We're done here. We are done here. For now. We can't go do the sword because... I don't have the health. I don't know how much health you would need to even pull that out. So I'm at eight hearts already. Unless they really want you like to farm the shit out of shrines. Just to get the master sword. Um, so let's see. We did the one in here, so let's head to the one in that one. The whole reason I Googled that is because there was no way I was figuring it out by myself. Quite literally, I was just being confused of like, okay, go get the constellations. Okay, do I need to draw one of them? <laughs> or <laughs> my main assumption was draw one of them. That's the thing. My main assumption was draw it. Not... How many times does it show up? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what this one is. Oh, this one is a little bit more simpler than the other one. Please don't be a strength one, for the love of God, because I know this is a region one. First one in the region, so I'm hoping it's not a strength one. Not a strength one. I'm hoping it's not. Please don't be a strength. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passing the flame. Okay. Okay, I have my torch. Oh, hey. <laughs> I set everything on fire in the process. Fire. <laughs> I love fire. Alright. Get that out. I can get up here. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't go to. No, I don't want to charge attack it. Fire. Burn. 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 <laughs> hey, come down here, you chest. You probably have a key. 
to lead to that, right? Is that what you would have? No, you have opal. Why do you have opal? There's a key missing. Where is the key? God damn it, I keep touch attacking it. Burn the box. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. Oh, maybe I gotta do something like this. Wait, and maybe the key is metal. Ah, come on, let me target it. Let me target it. Ah, come here. Come here, you piece of shit. What? Only there was a rotate button. I was I gonna lift this over this? Oh, I could just fucking lift it. God damn it. Why don't I just do that? Why didn't I just fucking lift it? Why am I an idiot? Why do I think I can pull things through bars? Alright, it's unlocked. Now what do we got in here? Ruby. Nice. Okay. That should be everything in here. Most likely. Hold on, let me burn those barrels real quick. Burn the barrels! Burn! Why aren't you burning? <laughs> burn barrels, burn! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just cleaning up the place. I'm just cleaning up the place. <laughs> like I said, I'm cleaning. Oh, there's a chest behind that. <laughs> Ooh, goopy. Oh, it's five. Nice. What do you got in here? Cobble Crusher. A Goron made two handed weapon. It's made from thick, hard metal and no cutting edge, so it relies on sheer weight to crush all opponents. A giant hunk of metal that just hits people. Got it. Alright, now that should be everything in here. And poke. Why am I reading it again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Made a goddess smile upon me. Shut up. The goddess can smile upon me when I pull that fucking master sword out. That's when she can do it. Oh god, I'm hoping I'm not hurting the cord. Eh. There we go. Okay, so that is done. Now there's one down here. And then I think that'll be it for shrines. I'm not going to do this one right now. Um, and then there's most likely going to be a shrine when we head to here. Because supposedly that's where I'm going next. So let's go to here. Alright. 
Go do this one. Alright, we'll go do this one and then we can head to the new story area, I would say. And then we'll stop there. Because then we'll have a whole video dedicated toward. Actually, maybe not, because depending on how long this shrine's gonna fucking take. <laughs> Impeccable to. Aw, oh, for fuck's sake. This is another timing one. Oh! So do I just need to. Okay, maybe let's not have my torch out, for the love of God. Oh, let's have something, uh... Here, we'll have this out. Oh my God, the big ass thing! So I got... Six balls total, can I not refresh him, or...? Did he not refresh? Uh... That's a problem. Okay, so I just gotta time it. To where the ball will be clear. Wow. I got that first try. And all for a goddamn chest. What the fuck? Oh, because it gives me a key. Hmm. I wonder, what do I need to unlock? But first... Oh, this one is just like... That, okay. Gotta wait. I'm waiting for it to come back around. Go in the other direction. Okay, and... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Okay. Probably a little earlier. I think that's too early. Yeah, it's too early. Damn it. Can I call him back? Wait, can I go grab them? I can probably go grab him. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Could I? Could I? I'm only gonna test it with the one. But could I? Could I? Could I just technically do something like... And that's the wrong button. I think I do something like this. No. <laughs> well, maybe I can push him back. All right, come on. Come on, you stupid ball. Come on. We're going back. Come on. There we go. All right, you're getting launched. Maybe it's time it when it goes back. Oh, right on the dot. That's another chest. All right, what do you got in here? Don't be never small key. Ice arrows. Nice. We use those. Okay, so that's both of these done. I want to see if I could cheese it. <laughs> See if I can throw it, but no, it, my strength does not throw that far. <laughs> it's like just out of my reach. Okay. That. The others. Anything else? Anything? Nope. Alright. Let's get this thing. And we can move forward. But yeah, I've definitely gotten a lot more health than I had before. So, 
Hopefully I won't get one shot as much. <laughs> to be honest. I'm I'm still fantasizing about that fucking master sword. Eight hearts are not enough. Apparently. This is the one that I found behind the waterfall. Okay, um... That all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> we have a great view in a blood moon. <laughs> Alright, but you guys already saw that. So, I need to go... The opposite direction of where I am. But I need to get to practically here. I need to get to Ooh. I need to get to practically there. Um What was I going what was I going for? Oh. Three divine beasts. So I need to technically get to here. The only way to do that is going down this way, I would say, and then there's a road straight toward it. So I need to head over here first. So I need to head there, and then it should be a straight shot the rest of the way. Okay. Off I go! And since we're done we're done with the shrines now for now until i find some more i'll have to so here's what i'm probably gonna do i'll probably do for zelda wise i'll probably do until i can't like if i'm getting one shot or i can't do a fight then i'll spend my off time farming so i'll probably upload other stuff like uh raft or whatever that would probably be the case now, instead of just constantly uploading Zelda, because it will just be me farming most of the time, which I don't really want that happening. Which I would say I wouldn't want that happening, but it ends up happening anyway. So, <laughs> that's a tower I haven't discovered yet. Yep, here comes the Blood Moon. I don't trust this. Oh, God! Quickly, quickly. We need we need, we need to get we need to get to the other side of this bridge before they fucking respawn. Cause that is horrible timing. <laughs> the blood moon rises once again. Oh, it's plus to skip now, apparently. Yeah, I know I know the blood moon rises once again. But that's horrible timing for having enemies right there. And yes, I do realize I still have a guardian thing on. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Give me your duplex bow. <laughs> God, those guys are annoying. I mean, technically, I just kicked the shit out of her boss, so. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like I'm heading down this way. Find their way around. I'm off. Jesus. Can't carry any more of those. What do you mean? Not a boat? Oh, I did not mean to pick up the fucking arm. But, uh, we're not going that way. Because <laughs> I saw camouflage fucking wizard dudes, and I don't want to deal with things right now. I just want to cheat. Cheese my way there. Some would say. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> well, it looks like it's a winter area this time. So maybe an ice boss this time. Oh 
I've never even heard the keysies. It's not yet. I hadn't heard anything from the divine beast yet. Oh wait, there's a stable down here. Okay, so we got some sort of landmark. But I'm surprised I hadn't heard anything from the divine beast yet. I'm kind of getting pretty close. Let me just wait until I hit the ground. Oh hey! He usually gives me shrine quests. Okay, so it's a pretty straight shot from here. So. Like I said, it's a surprise I haven't heard this. Oh, hi. How you doing? Hey! Good evening. Did you need something? Were you? I didn't say Dorito. Dorito? Yes. Dorito, like, Pudri. Or the men and fine archers and the women better singers. You are a highland, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. Like I said, I'm surprised of how close I'm getting. I haven't heard the Divine Beast yet. Like, it doesn't show them off yet. Oh, it's a Yaga. I, it scared the shit out of me for a second. Fuck off, Yaga. Don't want the arm. I can take everything else, not the arm. Let me fucking heal. <laughs> Uh, doesn't one shot me at least that's good but i'm kind of low shit actually can i not can i not wear this anymore as i hit wrong buttons again or am i oh i'm good okay let's have the let's have the higher armor shit on now um i don't want to use the part ones At least get some heart back. Where's those apples? There we go. It's a Zelda version of 80 viewers of cheese, but instead you're eating 20 million apples. Mm. Come on! Show them off! There we go! There it is! I was getting too close to the point where I'm like, Why are you not showing it off? The bird this time with the propellers. So now I'm curious how even I'm even gonna get up there. Are we gonna do like the slide thing, but instead like I ride? Actually, no, not not slide thing. Um, what the hell is it? The first one where I use Sidon as a vehicle. Am I using somebody else's vehicle instead? But instead of water, it's aerial stuff. Retail Village. Oh my god, the game is lagging. There we go. Hi. Hmm. Are you a traveler? I, I'd show you around. 
But it's not sorry, a good time. Where am I? This is Reach Ridge, but, well, you could say we're not in a welcoming mood. Talk to the folks in the village to hear all about it. Any real questions? What's going on? Do you see a beast in the sky? That's the divine beast by Medoa. It showed up a while back. The retail warriors who fled up to check it out were shot down. Oh my god. So this is where the wallpaper music I had before came. I had like a Zelda wallpaper on um fucking from wallpaper engine and then this same music was playing there so I figured out my favorite place because I really loved the music from it. They say it used to be a divine being that detected village but it doesn't seem very divine to me. Thankfully the thing only shoots at anything flying high up above the village. But still, it's pretty demoralizing for us retail to have to fly so low to the ground. Any other questions? I can talk about it. Don't let me keep it. Hey, it's never... Wait, pick up. What am I picking up? Hold on. Let me pick it up. What do I pick up? What do I pick up? No. <laughs> No, I don't have enough shrines. I don't have enough orbs. I know this. <laughs> Go away. It was said to pick something up, so I was trying to figure out what to pick up. Oh, this thing. Woo, Amber. <laughs> Bing. Okay, um, so according to this, I need to go here? Seriously? Down here? Or is it like a certain- oh wait, this goes up, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, your shop. Actually, what do you got? What do you got? Okay. Oh, my arms are 200! Oh, here's cane sugar and tapafin wheat. Hmm. Examine. Apple pie, nut cake, fried bananas. Now I'll get that later. Alright, you got a quest, but I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> I'm main questing right now. Wait, warm garb here. What do you got here? Coal resistance. Okay, so this is a set for coal resistance. No quill trousers. This is an entire set for coal resistance. Uh, let me see what I can get for that. Because maybe instead of the, uh... Well, because this one would be upgradable. Is the other thing. This one would be upgradable. So this could probably... I could probably get rid of the... Warm the other thing I use because if I have these, I'll at least have coal resistance, which means I can have at least decent armor on in the coal. Whereas this, it gives me cold resistance, but it's only like one. Which I'll do myself a favor and hold on to, but I'm thinking if I buy that. Over there, which I might be able to. Ah. Once I sell my ore here. Um, I should have mm -hmm. a full set of armor for coal resistance. All of them, which is two. Yep, up to 60 rupees. Ah. Okay, I might be able to get them. Uh, that would be it. Okay, so what's the expensive one? What's the most expensive one? Thousand for the head! Okay, so... 550... So I'll pretty much bring it to a thousand... Thousand and fifty. 
2,050 is what you would need to get all three. I have 2,542. I think I'm good. Yes. Like that. Because then it's 601. And then next one will be 550. Yellow free. Yeah, I'm going to shopping spree. Yeah, because I had like plenty of fucking money and I was already stocked up on everything, so. So, quick question. If I do something like this, and then this, and this, my cold resistance is down low and I at least have nine. I mean, that. Wait, so I only have to. Oh, did I, did I waste money? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I can only use two? Could I only use two for this? To at least get the cold resistance? You technically don't need a free piece? Hmm. Well, that would've been nice to know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Well, I wasted some money, but whatever. Let's just have this all on for now. The offers are cold resistance, and I have a feeling I might need it. Okay, these are just beds. Yeah, I know you're yelling at me for a fucking shrine. I don't know where the fuck it is right now. Probably down below, or it's probably up above. AKA it's right here. So I'll go mark it. How many how many spirit arms do I have? Three. So if I if I do this one, then I'll have four and then I'll be able to go to nine hearts. I'm mostly prioritizing hearts. If you haven't noticed. <laughs> Okay, so I'll leave this here, but we're gonna do some more story stuff, and then probably... I'll go to the point where there's the quest, and then... Then probably... Probably what I can do, go to a point where there's the actual quest for it. Because they're gonna have, have me do stuff. And then, after that, we can... I can end the video there. And then what I can do is... We could take an entire video to here, which would be doing the shrine that's here, and... And like, doing the entire quest, which I think might be the good plan. Hello, you who I need to talk to? Ah, yeah. huh, a visitor, welcome to- Oh, oh! Yeah. I'm just getting hit, could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I am Kane, elder of the Rito village. No, man, it's not a Sheikah Sky dangling from your hip. That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Ravala. Bawe. One of the few able to board the Vine Beast Vador, Medor. Now, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for 100 years. Boy must be a mere descendant and inheritor of the Sheikah Sky. Yeah. Ah, forgive me. Champion descendant, if you would like to... If you listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Yeah. Thank you, truly. As he shakes the entire screen. <laughs> now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put it? I'd like you to deal with Divine Beast Medoa, a giant beast circling above us. Only chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried to explain this to the more headstrong Rita warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Teba and Hoff tried to confront Medoa, but it did not go well, and Hoff was injured. Teba escaped unscathed. Whoever the hell is messaging me on Discord he needs to be patient.
What the hell is Luke messaging me? Uh, but I fear he now plans to face Medoa alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Tiba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast from Medoa. Okay. Alright, well, that's kind of as far as I'm going to go today. We did... Okay, so we did the forest. We happened to find the Master Sword, which I didn't think was in there. I'm just going to say this. Whatever guide I was looking at didn't tell me it was in there. It's the thing. It did not tell me. I found it how I intend, how it was intended to be found. Not through Google. <laughs> but, yeah. Found that. We can't do it because we don't have enough dark darkness we don't have enough health to do it so that's on hold um what the hell else we did that we did at least three shrines the one at Korok forest and then two others and then we came here to do to just start the quest just get this area fully introduce us to the thing and then that's it. So for next episode, next episode we'll be doing the shrine that's here, and then we'll be doing this entire quest. That is what we'll be doing next episode. No more farming. I think we're good. I think we're good for now. So, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thank you for bearing with me through farming the shrines I kind of needed to and the reason I didn't do them on my own is because I thought the shrines would be interesting because you know they're shrines they have like completely different puzzles and everything whatever so anyways without further ado I'll see you guys next time peace <laughs>